Bald in appearance, one can say not cute birds with a strange addiction to carrion are not particularly popular among animal lovers. Vultures' blood-stained heads, hideous bodies, and a grumpy disposition evoke disgust rather than admiration. However, no matter how we treat them, no matter how strange these birds may seem, their role in nature is very significant. Let's find out more about these birds and their unique abilities. While the vulture is eating its carrion, subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments. In many cultures around the world, the vulture is considered a bad luck bird. Many superstitions and dark stories are associated with it, and all due to the fact that the vulture has a unique feature. It eats rotten meat and carrion without harming its own health. Try keeping the meat in the sun for a few days to start to rot, and then eat it. The best thing that this experiment will end up with is a severe stomach upset followed by a lavage in the hospital and a course of antibiotics. The vulture will be able to eat the same piece of meat without any problems, remaining well fed and satisfied. Moreover, he can eat the meat of animals killed by anthrax, rabies and even the plague. Not surprisingly, vultures have instilled such horror in humans for centuries. Imagine all the cattle and most of the villagers died from the plague, and a handful of survivors watch as vultures calmly fly and peck at the bodies of the dead. The presence of such an amazing skill in vultures is explained by the high acidity of gastric juice, in which all pathogens die. To measure the acidity of gastric juice, we use pH units that range from 0 to 14, where 0 indicates the highest possible acidity. And if, in humans, the level of acidity of gastric juice varies from 3 to 1.5, then in vultures the pH level fluctuates between 0 and 1. The acidity of the vulture's gastric juice is so high that it can dissolve even some metals, not to mention pathogenic bacteria. But even if the bacterium, by some miracle, managed to survive in such an extreme environment, it will have to face the immune system of the scavenger bird, which is one of the most powerful of all vertebrates. The number of pathogens that are really dangerous for vultures can be counted on the fingers of one hand. Every tourist who comes to Africa believes that the main eaters of wild animals are lions, hyenas, leopards, cheaters, wild dogs and jackals. But this is not the case. Carnivorous mammals get only 36% of the total amount of meat the rest falls on the share of vultures. Bacteria and larvae compete with them, but birds remain the largest consumers of carrion. Their role in ecosystems as end-use processors of biomass is to prevent the spread of disease and regulate other scavengers such as wild dogs. The question arises, why is nature so unfair? Why did it award vultures with such a formidable antimicrobial weapon, but not humanity? But all this can be explained. Vultures have fed on the carcasses of dead animals for centuries, building up protection and strengthening immunity. And it helped them to occupy the niche of the most successful scavengers, which they successfully used. But of course, one should not forget that vultures are not some kind of terminators, but ordinary living creatures. And for them there is also a limit when food should no longer be eaten. But even if the meat is completely inedible, the vulture will find a way out and eat bones that dissolve in its stomach without any problems. 
By the way, in this case the bird gets even more nutrients than when eating fresh meat. You might think that vultures that eat rotten or contaminated meat are carriers of many dangerous diseases. This belief was widespread in the olden days and is sometimes found today. But the statistics stubbornly states the opposite. In areas where the vulture population is declining, the number of outbreaks of dangerous diseases will certainly increase. It is easy to explain this. The spread of diseases in the area where vultures live usually ends at the place where these birds eat. If there are no vultures, then the disease spreads throughout the territory. Moreover, vultures have a habit of defecating while eating. And since the products of its vital activity also have increased acidity, the bird literally disinfects the remains of the deceased animal. At the same time, the feces also fall on the paws of the vulture, with which he could stomp on the victim. Blood and pus, while eating meat, flows from the body of the vulture using a special feather collar on the bird's neck. The vulture fights with bacteria that may remain on the wings in a peculiar way. It spreads its wings and warms them well in the sun. This allows the rays to kill bacteria. It turns out that vultures are not only unique, but also extremely useful birds, taking care of the population of which is beneficial for humans. At the end of the video, let's touch on one more interesting topic. Why do we never see pigeon chicks? Don't switch! Visit any major city anywhere in the world. Its squares will undoubtedly be filled with hundreds, if not thousands, of pigeons. But despite their number, you will never see their chicks. Why? Well, the pigeons you see on the streets eating sunflower seeds or ice cream remnants are mostly blue-gray pigeons. This subspecies was originally bred from rock pigeons the oldest domesticated bird in the world, which nests and breeds on sea cliffs and rocky mountain crevices in Europe, North Africa and Western Asia. Although today rock pigeons are mostly found in busy metropolitan areas and not on rocky coasts, they still nest on high roofs and in the cavities of buildings, which is one of the reasons for such rare occurrences. Only if you can look into the nest can you see the young pigeons. By the time they leave the nest, they are already large enough and more like adult birds than chicks. Pigeons are born naked and need to grow feathers before they can leave the nest. They remain in their nests until they learn to fly like other nest-building birds. In addition, pigeon babies grow faster than other birds, at least in terms of their appearance. However, pigeon babies are pampered a lot. Most songbirds spend two or three weeks in the nest. Pigeons spend three to six weeks in the comfort of their mothers. By this time, young pigeons look like adult birds more than other birds when they leave the nest. And even if fledgling pigeons occasionally jump out of their nests, they will still not be recognized by passers-by. While chicks of other birds will be spotted on the ground instantly. However, if you watch closely, you may be able to spot some of the teenage pigeons. But you will spend a lot of time on this, so it is better to look at them here. This concludes our video. Keep your head away from pigeon bumps and see you soon!